Thank you for being part of this weather community. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. You can see right here this strong tropical wave, another one coming off the coast of Africa. This one is trying to hang together. It's one of the more significant ones we've seen so far this season. I do think it's going to weaken some as it approaches us in the Caribbean, but it is a spot we'll monitor together and it is a sign of more activity to come in the Atlantic Basin. And that's what I want to do. I want to look ahead through July into August in just a moment, and then we'll track that tropical wave. We swing back here. We have a big pocket of dust moving in ahead of that tropical wave into the Caribbean. We'll track that dust as well uh, long term as that slides in. We've had some spotty showers and storms, Bahamas, Cuba, Haiti, heavier weather, southern Nicaragua, back through Costa Rica, parts of Panama. Giving you the heads up, we're going to see that flood threat. And we've had some of the mudslides over the last few days, parts of Guatemala still monitoring that. Heavier rain, interior Venezuela and uh, parts of uh, Colombia over the next few days. But watching the dust moving in, but keeping an eye on that new tropical wave that will slide in. Now, as we go Go over the next 10 days uh, closer to home. This is the European model, not showing big signs of development. I do want to keep an eye on that spot near the southeast U.S. It was looking like either the northern Gulf or southeast U.S. There could be a little development. Simply put, there's going to be a front nearby there, and I'll show you that. We'll expand out the view in just a second together, uh, but just a spot to kind of keep an eye on. But longer term, this is still the European model. I know it's a different color scheme, but as we go out into early, even mid-August, you see the brighter colors popping up in the tropical Atlantic. Here we are in the uh, Caribbean. By the time we get into early and mid-August, there should be more moisture in the atmosphere. I don't just look at the models. I look at what's going on in the atmosphere. There's going to be more available moisture, which means a better chance, a higher chance of development. And you can see the European model is hinting at that some of these yellows or oranges popping up saying, hey, maybe we'll watch out for some development in the tropical Atlantic as we get into early uh, to mid sections of August. We would expect that though. It's uh, getting closer to the uh, uh, bigger part of the hurricane season and keeping an eye on the southeast U.S., east coast of U.S. with old fronts and always monitoring the Caribbean and eastern Pacific uh, for any development that could be close to home. Now we are still so early in the hurricane season. It's really just started. We're just about a month in. As we work our way into August though, that's when things typically shoot up as far as the amount of named systems, tropical storms and hurricanes. September, October, usually very active. Even November, the last couple of years have been unusually active. So uh, really the uh, big portion of the hurricane season all at ahead of us. And now longer term, as I just showed you, I'm starting to see signs of that, signs of some uh, kind of uh, more development, especially early to mid August. But watching this one tropical wave, I'll expand out that view in just a moment as promised. Now, just starting today, scattered areas of rain, watching that Southeastern Caribbean. Here's the heavier rain, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama developing, and then spotty showers and storms, uh, Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, the DR, we'll see a couple of Belize. We still don't have a whole lot. We may get brushed by a few showers, Honduras, a couple showers around, but by tomorrow, still watching out for some scattered areas of rain, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, Trinidad. This here, you see this coloring here? That's actually some of the dust, which I'll show, in a, show you in a moment. That's going to be moving in. Here are the spotty storms, Eastern Cuba, for example, and there's the really heavy rain, Nicaragua. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, uh, a high concern for river flooding and a mudslide potential. Keeping an eye on Guatemala, no doubt. Scattered areas of rain, Belize and Honduras. And then as we get into a Saturday, that rain just kind of builds in even more toward parts of Nicaragua. That flood threat with us. So thank you for sharing this channel, spreading the information to get that out. Spotty showers and storms, watching some near the Bahamas, watching the dust still moving in, and then watching that other tropical wave that is out there in the open waters of the Atlantic. So let me expand out the view and then we'll get into the U.S., Mexico in just a moment. Here we are in the Caribbean. Now here's the coast of Africa. Now what we're watching is some of these tropical waves uh, kind of building. Here's that one in particular that I'm watching now, more back behind it. And it does try to hang together over the next few days or so. So we go out in time here, ticking the clock ahead into tomorrow. And you could see it again. Here we are in Barbados. You could see this little spin right in here. That's that strong tropical wave going out in time here further as we get into the weekend. This is Saturday, still seeing it. You see how it's hanging together? For the most part, they've just been falling apart early in the hurricane season, which is typical. Another tropical wave back behind it on Saturday. And then going out in time here further to show you what's next. And you could see it right 
right there, that little spin right in through there, still not expecting much development by Sunday. It should be weakening. It is going to run into uh, some of that dry air and dust. Remember, that's out ahead of it, which I'll be showing you. But you see here, there's that tropical wave, that strong tropical wave approaching the Caribbean on Monday. But you see by Monday, it should be weakening some, which would be good. But eventually, that'll bring us a better chance of rain by the middle of next week in parts of the Caribbean, watching the new tropical waves. And here are those fronts that I was mentioning earlier, just keeping an eye on that extra moisture near the southeast United States to see if anything does want to spin up. Sometimes the models are hinting at something spinning up uh, near or off the coast of the uh, Carolina. So watching that water temperatures this time of year, plenty warm, uh, no doubt for tropical development, uh, but the upper air is uh, kind of hostile, which is a good thing right now. But as we get deeper into the hurricane season, we get that better chance of development. All of these water temperatures for the most part have been consistently warming, especially in the Caribbean over the last uh, week or so. Uh, there's been a lot of that heat around, so those numbers have been uh, building for the water temperatures. Here is the dust today moving into Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Martin, Ceiba, Stacia, Montserrat. Then this is by tomorrow moving into the Turks and Caicos, Southern Bahamas. You see it right here and kind of another little resurgence of that uh, back through Antigua, Barbuda, uh, St. Martin, St. Croix, Tortola, getting some of that dust. And this here is by Sunday. And then you see it even trying to get closer to Jamaica, parts of Cuba, thicker dust, Haiti and the Dominican Republic by the time we get into Sunday. So heads up there if you do have any additional breathing problems with that new round of dust that will be moving in. Now as we go throughout the day, watching out for some of that rain that will be approaching late in the day, New Brunswick, some of that rain uh, near parts of uh, New England over toward Nova Scotia. This could be heavier in the southeast U.S. and monitoring isolated severe weather back toward parts of the Midwest and the Plains point being this time of year, we, where you get some storms. If they're popping up, they could be severe. So much energy out there with the daytime heating. By tomorrow, watching some of that rain near the Avalon Peninsula. This in through here, Midwest and parts of the plains, again, could be severe isolated tornadoes. And then watching Mexico, still that monsoon flow, still a lot of that rain, still drifting back toward New Mexico, where that flood threat is going to be sticking around in some spots. Some additional flooding will be a possibility. Then by Saturday, from uh, Ontario back through Quebec, Great Lakes, uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, watching out for scattered areas of rain and storms, monitoring this for the uh, flood threat and watching these fronts here trying to leave uh, Newfoundland. But this is some of the uh, extra rain that will watch out for some development off the coast of the Carolinas as we work our way into next week. Nothing imminent, but just, just an area to watch. Now, this is the spot in the eastern Pacific that I've been watching back behind it. It has been drawing in some more of that rain uh, over toward uh, Puerto Vallarta, uh, Guadalajara, some of that extra rain and keeping an eye on Guatemala, of course, for that mudslide potential uh, just on the heels of uh, several earthquakes over the last uh, few days. There's that moisture pulling through, especially the western spine of Mexico, but there's the rain building uh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. And as that moves into the eastern Pacific, we'll monitor to see if we get any development out of that. Just a couple areas to monitor as we get into next week as we watch that uh, eastern Pacific, uh, but not seeing any big signs of development on the uh, uh, Eastern Pacific side. Seas are going to be choppier again the next few days. I've been mentioning that through the Caribbean. Nothing super crazy, but watching the Atlantic passageways and the Caribbean this here is Saturday. As we go throughout the weekend, things will stay on the choppy side. Jamaica South, Haiti South, uh, the DR South, watching that. Even over toward Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, uh, that uh, some of the uh, seas will be slightly elevated. Spotty showers and storms, as I mentioned, where we get them, two to three inches of rain or 50 to 75 millimeters of rain will be a possibility. Jamaica, some spots dry. Others seeing thunderstorms could get a shower. Parts of the Cayman Islands spotty. Uh, Haiti and the DR. And again, remember in this sector here, that's where we have some of that very thick dust that will be moving in at times all the way through the upcoming weekend. St. Lucia South, better chance of some scattered showers throughout the day, may get some spots of 25 millimeters of rain. Watching northern and central Guyana, northern Suriname for some of that rain. I mentioned interior Venezuela, interior Colombia, high chance of flooding with some big rain totals. That could be over 200 millimeters of rain, rapid runoff possible. Interior Colombia, interior Venezuela, and there's the rain building. Thank you for spreading the word about this. Nicaragua, Costa 
Costa Rica and Panama. Some spots over 150 millimeters of rain. As we just go over the next three days, western spine here of Mexico will have some spots of 100 millimeters of rain, keeping an eye on some of that additional rain, parts of New Mexico, where there could be some spots again over an inch or two of rain that could lead to flooding. And these scattered storms uh, right through, especially the Carolinas, parts of northern Georgia, where three to four inches of rain will be possible, watching those rivers, uh, no doubt. So 40 to 50 percent chance of some scattered showers and storms for us in Jamaica, 30 to even 40 percent chance for us across the Cayman Islands by tomorrow. Spotty showers and storms, watching that in particular tomorrow into the weekend, uh, back through Trinidad and Tobago, hit or miss in Barbados, a 30 percent chance, but about a 40 percent chance over the next couple of days uh, in St. Lucia, 40 to 50 percent chance in Grenada, scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two, 40 to 50 percent chance. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, some of us really need to get some rain. It has been dry, but as I mentioned, things are going to be picking up over the next few weeks. Uh, Martinique, rain chance 30 percent, 30 percent chance in Dominica, and a 30 percent chance the next three days as we get back through Guadalupe. Watching the dust around in these sectors, Antigua, Barbuda, doesn't mean we can't get a shower. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, but the rain chance on the lower side, Anguilla, uh, St. Bart's, uh, St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, watching some of that dust around isolated thunderstorms possible the next three days in uh, Puerto Rico. And we're looking at just a 10, 20 percent chance back through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, scattered showers and thunderstorms back through the Bahamas, limited chance with some of that uh, dust moving in back through the Turks and Caicos. 40 percent chance of scattered storms today in the DR. Some of those could be strong in a 30 percent chance of some pop up thunderstorms today as we work our way back through Haiti. Just about a 30 percent chance tomorrow, Saturday, some spotty showers and storms and Belize, but not widespread. Aruba rain chance 20%. We'll build a little bit near Curacao and Bonaire by the time we get into the weekend. And there's that chance of rain. High chance in Guyana. Again, northern and central zones. Northern Suriname, the better chance of getting some of the rain. Back through Cuba, scattered areas of rain and storms, especially central and eastern sections. Costa Rica and Panama, I see that rain chance only building in. Watching that flood threat carefully. And then southern and eastern Nicaragua, watching that flood threat in mudslide potential along with some dangerous rivers. 40 to 50 percent chance of some scattered showers back through Honduras. Uh, watching out for that mudslide potential still. Parts of Guatemala and El Salvador. Rain chance 60 percent around Mexico City. 40 percent chance of a couple passing showers as we work our way through the Yucatan Peninsula. 50 percent chance in northern Colombia. 40 to 50 percent chance the next couple of days. Uh, northern Venezuela and a 20 percent chance back through uh, Bermuda. So tropical waves marching across the Atlantic. We have those areas of rain in, in the uh, Caribbean. Uh, some of the areas of dust around. Watching near the southeast U.S. but again monitoring overall watching that tropical wave that strong one in the Atlantic watching near the southeast U.S. and we've had some earthquakes over the last few days. I am monitoring that earthquake activity. So thank you for spreading this channel and have a really good day ahead.